Deep Down Cleaning. Your one-stop cleaning outfit for Deep Down Results. John Moore with 17-year-old Gregor Yole, captain of the Valley Wildcats, as season very young, early yet. But uh, Gregor, first off, uh, tell us a little bit about the, the fact you're going to wear the C and what it means to you. Uh, yeah, obviously it's a great accomplishment. It means a lot to me. Uh, it takes a lot, but uh, you know it's not changing my game. I'm out here playing the same way I always do. What does uh, the, what does the captain? How are you going to? help lead, you're not going to change your game You're the same person you have been the first two years here, but, but what, what qualities do you think a captain has to bring? Oh, well, obviously leading by example, you know, if you see a guy out there not doing his best, you know, you can give him a tap, you know, uh, let him know to pick it up a little bit, or you, know, you just want to be a guy that people can look up to. What do you want to accomplish? This will be your third, third and final year. Um, obviously, uh, from what I understand, this is a very respectable team. What, what, what would you like to accomplish this season? Uh, you know, obviously we're out here, we're, uh, we want to win games, that's the main point. But, uh, you know, I think if we give it all we got, yeah, we have a great team, we can uh, go far with it. What do you see so far that leads you to believe that this team can have success this season? I mean, already we've had a couple times, we've come, come from behind, you know, shows a lot of heart, shows a lot of hard work and uh, a lot of character for our team. I know, excited to be back, but uh, also perhaps some little, a little bit of disappointment. Earlier, you were at the, the Maritime Hockey League uh, camp for all Bearcats, a late cut, from what I understand. Tell me about finding out about that and, and your reaction. Yeah, well, it's obviously it's disappointing. You want to play at the best level that you can, but uh, you know, I'm back here. I'm ready to have a good year. Did they give you a sense as to what what it was that perhaps didn't allow you to play at that level. Uh, I don't know. They got a, they got a lot of guys returning back there. I think there's it was a pretty good squad up there and a lot of returners. So, so this year um, you're going to be the captain. You're going to be a leader here when you're playing at the at the top of your game. Describe the player that that you think you were in that valley lineup. Uh, yeah, obviously I want to be uh, like a hardworking power forward, a guy who can move the puck, a guy who can uh, put some pucks in that, and. Uh, no, just be a game changer. He's he's a great leader. Um, I asked the players who they thought was was going to be the captain. Most of them said him. Um, if not to be an alternate, he was kind of our gut feeling guy going into it, and that that just goes to confirm it. And it's great when when the coaches think something and the players think it too. Describe the player that he is in your valley lineup. Uh, he, he's a big, strong, physical player, but I, I would kind of describe him as a big power forward. Um, he can put the puck in the back of the net. Um, he's always going to work hard, and, and he should have a real good season point-wise this year for us. Uh, point-wise, some of the nice players are reluctant to, uh, to, to uh, point the numbers, but can you give us a sense of what he might be able to produce? Um, I know he, he's probably one of those guys that's reluctant to say it. He's happy as long as we're winning, but um, there's no reason he can't be over a point-per-game kind of player for us. All right, I know that he went to Truro, tried over the, the Maritime Hockey League team. I understand he was a late, late cut. Tell me a little bit, how, obviously there's some disappointment there. Tell me how he handled the disappointment and, and returned to this team. Um, well, right from the get-go, he said his goal was, was to make that team, and, and if it wasn't the case, he was going to be happy to, to come back. So um, our first call after he, he heard that he got let go, he was, as you can tell, disappointment, but he was also excited to get going back with, with the guys. A lot, most of his friends are, are on the team, guys he's played with before, so he's really happy in that sense, um, and now he's just working to get there next year. You're the Valley coach, not the Truro coach. What, what might he be missing? That, he, that did get him to that next level? Um, I, don't, I don't think a whole lot. I think right now he, he's ready to get there. They were just in a situation where uh, they were going to take him or, or another guy that was a similar age, and, and they couldn't go wrong with either choice. So, I mean, I think he's right there. He, he, if he was in a different organization, he'd probably be in the league right now.